So let's talk about why light bends. So this is what makes starting with wave particle duality so useful. To understand why light slows, a particle picture is really useful. To understand why light bends, a wave picture is very useful. This is why starting with wave particle duality, as it's called, is helpful. Slowing down, particle picture. Why does it bend? Wave picture. So after all the flack I got from my drawing last time, I went and found a video of, of this. So let's watch. Now we're thinking about light as a wave. So my wave is coming in from the upper left. And you can see that this part of the wave hits the interface first and slows down, while this part of the wave keeps going. And that's what makes it bend, is different parts of the wave hit it at different times. The left edge, right edge, sorry, the right edge of this wave hits the interface first and slows down, while the left edge keeps traveling at the faster speed and as a consequence, slow, faster, and as a consequence, the light as a whole bends. As a consequence, the light as a whole bends. So refraction really does work well when you can jump back and forth between a wave picture and a particle picture of light. And you can see in this video, they even got the like, fact that the wavelength shrinks. They even got that right. All right. Let's see. Let's check your understanding of this in a new context. So a wave is a wave is a wave is a wave is a wave. Let's see what you've come up with on the count of three. One, two, three. Good, good. Most of y'all got it. Correct answer is? A. Correct answer is? A. Thank you. Just like a light wave, just like a light wave, if I can get the electron to slow down, I can get it to bend towards the normal, just like a light wave. So if I can get an electron wave to slow, I can make it bend. If I can make it bend, I can build a lens. If I can build a lens, I can build a microscope. This is why electron microscopes work. Because I can bend electrons by speeding them up or slowing them down. Yeah? Ooh, good question. If the wave comes in straight perpendicular, does it bend? That's a good question. So I want to take a stab at it. If it comes straight perpendicular, does it bend? Sure, go for it. Okay. What? Perfect. Perfect. The bending, remember, the bending came from the fact that different parts of the wave slowed down at different times. If you come straight at it, that doesn't happen. And so they all slow down together, and you don't get a bend. Go straight. 